Verifying that your high-speed buses are operational is a critical component of the validation process. Hello, my name is Tim Caffey. I'm Vice President of Board Validation here at Asset Intertech. Asset is very pleased to introduce a new product line targeted for the desktop and mobile markets that will enable them to get advanced diagnostics for the DDR3, PEG, and DMI high-speed buses. These products are going to be targeted for Intel architectural-based designs that will be based on the second-generation core i3, i5, and i7 processors that will be manufactured at the 22 nanometer level. Intel has enabled the market with a two-tier tool strategy. And basically, the Intel tools that are provided are going to give you basic rank and port level information on these buses, respectively. Now, this is like a warning light or just gives you basic information of the bus integrity. But the Intel has also enabled Asset to bring to market a more advanced tool. The Asset ScanWorks HSIO for PC client enables you to get down to the bit and lane level information that will really help you get down into the root cause and help correct the problem to uh, verify your system's design. These products are available online today, and here I want to show you a brief demonstration of the tools so you can understand what to expect in a typical session. Sure, Tim. Let me start the tool and show some of the key features. The first thing to note is we'll be using files created by the Intel provided tools as our input. So if I open up a result file, I can pick uh, an RMT result, for example, and we can take a look at that. Now that I've got it in the tool, I can actually decode right now. Uh, but first, let's just preview it and make sure it's the file we really wanted. So we, here we can see it is indeed RMT data, and you can see the rank level data at the top of the file, but there is bit level information as well uh, further down in the file, and that's what we'll be decoding and taking a look at here in just a moment. So let me come back here, and now we will go ahead and decode that, and you'll see that that's going to automatically open up the uh, data viewer for us. So after it's been decoded, it has put the results into the database for us and brought up the data viewer so we can work with it. So you can see several results that I've done in the past. Uh, right here at the bottom are the three that just came out of that file. As I showed you a minute ago, here's the rank level information. Additionally, there was some SPD info in there. And uh, what we really want to take a look at is this bit information. So you can double click on a line and open that in a uh, tabular format. Uh, and of course you can export this into uh, CSV or other formats if you want to take it outside of this tool and use it elsewhere. But really the most interesting part is the ability to visualize the data instead of looking through the table. So let me go ahead and click on visualize. And now we can see a chart and graphically take a look at the results. So here I can see across the x-axis my lanes, or in this case my bits, data bits. On the y-axis is my margined information. So the red x's represent the first fail. It defaults to 1D margin, but if I change this to custom, we can see here I can change it from receive side to transmit, uh, timing, or voltage. So if I switch this to, let's say, transmit DQ or transmit timing, refresh that and now I can see I can go in and investigate my transmit side timing information. I hope this quick overview helps you see how the tool can be helpful to you. Please let us know if there's any additional information we can provide.